Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the property of an event not happening. Now we saw in a previous video the idea of mutually exclusive events. Now mutually exclusive events are just things which can't happen at the same time. And we also saw that the probability of all possible mutually exclusive events sum to one. So all the probabilities of everything that might possibly happen add to give one. So for example, if we had a spinner and let's say it's an unfair spinner and we had red here and we had green and blue but it's kind of weighted towards red so it's most likely to give you red as an outcome then if we had the probability of red was, I don't know, 0 0.6 and we're told that the probability of green was 0 0.3 then how would we find the probability of blue up here? Well, we know that the probabilities add up to 1 because it can only be red, green or blue. And so therefore we add these together, 0.6 plus 0.3 is 0.9. And then we take it away from 1 and the probability of blue would therefore be 0.1. So that these three probabilities now add to 1. But instead of breaking it down like this, I could say, well, what's the probability of red versus the probability that it was not red? Because if you think about it, this covers every possible scenario because either the spin is red or it's not red. That covers every case, doesn't it? So if the probability of red was 0 0.6, then what's the probability of it's not red? Well, these two have to add up to one. And so we could just do one minus the 0 0.6 to get to 0 0.4. And you can see, well, that's right because look, if it's not red, it's either green or blue, and 0.3 plus 0.1 is 0.4. So basically, in summary, the probability of something not happening, so if I want to say the probability of not A, whatever A is, A is just something that's happening, would be one minus the probability of that happening. So if I want the probability of not red, I would do one minus the probability of it being red. So let's apply that to these particular questions here. A, a bag contains 30 balls, 12 of which are red. What is the probability a randomly chosen ball is not red? Well, to be honest, we could avoid using this because if you think about it, how many balls are not red? Well, 12 of the balls are red. So the balls which are not red, this is a frequency, not a probability. We just do 30 minus 12. There's 18 balls which are not red. So therefore, the probability of the ball being not red would just be those 18 balls which are not red out of the total number of balls, which is 30. So I didn't have to explicitly use this formula here. But for question B, we can. The probability in a game that I win a prize is 0.2. What's the probability I don't win the prize? So the probability that you win the prize is 0.2. Then what's the probability that you do not win well, according to this formula, the probability that you don't win is equal to 1 minus the probability you win. So it's just 1 minus the probability you win, so 1 minus 0 0.2, and that would be equal to 0 0.8.